click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. We're down in section five where we're taking a look at how we can organize information effectively in OneNote. And in the previous module, we took a look at how we can search for different items through our notebook or on specific pages. And in this module, I want to talk to you about tagging notes, because this is a really cool little feature that's really going to help you organize your notes better and find important information quickly. Now, tags are essentially a way to categorize and prioritize notes in OneNote. So with tags, you can quickly return to important items. You can remind yourself about action items and you can filter out the notes that you might possibly want to share with others. And when it comes to tagging, you can tag a single line of text or you can tag an entire paragraph. So let's take a look at how it works. Now, currently I'm clicked on the to do list. And if you remember in a previous module, we use the to do tag to insert these little to do item checkboxes. So we're going to stay on this home ribbon and we're going to go to the tags group. Let's expand so we can see all of the tagging options that we have. And you can see that there are many. Now, all of these tags can be customized if you want to change the icon or maybe change what the tag says. But let's start out by using some of these default tags so you can see exactly how they work. Now for this, I'm going to jump across to the offices page and I'm going to start out tagging on this London page. So you can see at the top here, I have an office address. Now this might be quite important information that someone might need to get to quickly. If you can imagine if a staff member is going out to do some training, they might quickly need to access the map and also the address of the location. So what I could do is tag this piece of information. So I've positioned my cursor just in front of office address. I'm going to go up to tags and I'm going to browse through for an appropriate tag for this piece of content. And you can see I have one here that's called address. So let's click and you can see it adds that little icon next to the office address. Now I'm going to go through this notebook and tag other items. And then at the end, I'm going to show you why this is particularly useful. So let's go back to the overview page. And on this page, I have the dates that this rollout is going to commence. So again, this might be information that's quite important and someone might need to access quickly. So I'm going to click at the front of this sentence, go up to tags, and I'm going to tag this as important information. I might also decide that the team leader assignment is pretty important. So once again, I'm going to tag that as important. And I'm also going to tag the rollout order as important information. Let's move across to the travel tab. And here I have some websites. Now for this, I'm going to tag all of these. So I'm going to select them all, go up to my tags. And you can see I have a little website to visit tag just here. Click it and it applies a tag to all of them. Let's jump across to costs. I'm going to select this placeholder because this is a clipped image up to tags. And we're going to say that this is critical information. Let's jump across to schedule. And here I have the course plan for Europe. And it might be that I want to discuss this in a team meeting. So I'm going to select the course plan Europe and I'm going to tag this with a little checkbox to remind me to schedule a meeting. And then finally, we'll go across to important emails. And I'm just going to select the signature at the bottom here and tag this as a contact. Now I could carry on going through, but hopefully you get the idea. You just run through and add your tags wherever necessary. So how is this useful? Well, it becomes more useful when we go to the find tags option in the tags group because this allows us to view all of our tagged notes. So let's click on find tags. Now I can choose how I want to group these tags. So currently I'm grouping by tag name. So you can see here underneath it's showing me everything that I've tagged with the address tag, which is just one item. It's then showing me everything I've tagged with the contact tag, the critical tag, the important tag, schedule a meeting, to do, and websites to visit. And it's searching across all of this notebook. 
Now, of course, you can come in here and change the scope if you're just interested in tags on a specific page or in a specific section. But I'm going to keep mine on this notebook. And you could also choose to group by something else. So instead of tag name, you might want to group by section. So now you're seeing costs and all of the tags I have in there, important emails, offices, so on and so forth. Now, I normally prefer to group by tag name. So this enables you to kind of jump around your notebook by tag. So for example, these important items just here, it's very simple for someone to just click on the item and it's going to jump them to that specific page. Now, another thing that I really like about this is right at the bottom, you have the option to create a summary page. So let's click this and see what we get. So it basically creates a brand new page for me. And if I just get rid of the tag summary, you can see at the bottom, it's just got the default name of address, which I'm probably going to want to change. So I might change this to tagged items. And then it lists out all of the tags and the contents contained within them. So you can essentially have all of your tagged items, all of the important information, things you need to reference on one page, regardless of where they are within the notebook. So this can be a super helpful little feature to really filter out the noise of things you don't need to know and highlight the important stuff. Now, of course, once you have added tags in, you can remove those tags. So for example, if I go back to where I tagged the office address, I can right click and I have the option to remove the tag and then it's not going to appear in your tag results. And if you want to remove multiple tags at the same time, you just need to select all of the text where you have tags and press control zero to get rid of all of them. Now, as I briefly mentioned, you can also customize your tags. So if we click the more drop down once more, you'll see right at the bottom, we have a customized tags option. And we actually did this because we customized our to do tag. We changed the style of the checkbox and we also changed the color of the text to display. But you can select any of the tags and customize them to your needs. So if I scroll down, I can see here I have a tag called project A. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. I'm going to modify the tag and I'm going to call this project Artemis. I'm going to give it a different symbol. So let's just give it a green triangle. I'm going to change the font color again to a darker green. And I could choose to have a highlight color if I wanted to. Click on OK. And now whenever I use that tag, it's going to look like this. You can also create your own tags from scratch, utilizing the new tag button. So maybe I want a tag called important dates. I'm going to choose a symbol for that. So I'm going to use this little red square. I'm going to change the font color to a bright red and I don't want to have any highlight color. Let's click on OK. And now I have that tag available. And of course, in here as well, if you want to reorder your tags and have the ones that you use most often at the top, you can. So if I select important dates, I can use my arrow just to move that all the way up to the top, just underneath my to do tag. So let's click on OK. I'm going to jump back to my offices section and into the overview page. I'm going to click at the start of this first sentence, which contains the dates that the rollout will commence on and also end on. I'm going to jump up to my tags and I'm going to utilize my important dates tag. And you'll see that it changes that text to red so that it really stands out from the rest of the document. So pretty easy to add tags that are already contained within OneNote, modify them and also create your own and apply them to your notebook and then use that find tags option to create a summary page, which is essentially going to list out everything that you've tagged and filter the important stuff from the unnecessary noise. I hope you found all of that useful. Definitely start playing around with tags because there's something that's really wonderful in OneNote. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.